let's get these parked away. Doesn't really matter where they go, as long as we park them away and secure them off. I've fed the cows and all that's done. So yeah, pretty much now, it's just tidy up a bit. I'm going to find a way. So what am I going to do with the Volvo? Hmm. Let's put the Lassie in there. That should be fine. Should be enough space for it. Fingers crossed anyway. I'll hear George screaming if I rip the top of the barn off. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. That's spot on that is. Close that up. Job done. What are you doing, yeah? Yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm locking up now, George. Give me a second. Right, and come on, faffing about. I want to get going. Take some time, get there, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it now. Just got the. Just got the four to do, and then. I'm going to have to figure out somewhere to park that Volvo. I'll leave it out on the streets putting a sign saying, anyone want this for free? <laughs> are you mad? I'm not going to do that, am I? It's not going to go down well. Rushing me. Tell you what, that's the best way to make someone go slower. There we go. Why don't you go get yourself a flash for the drive and stop moaning? Uh, moaning? Hey, wait a minute. I'll say that to you. Don't you start saying that to me. I'll tell you that now. Well, it's true though, isn't it? You don't give me a chance to do this. You want to make sure everything's locked up, don't you? Well, you could have done it quicker by now. I would have done it quicker. Yeah, I'm sure you would, as you stand there doing nothing. Uh, I'm doing loads, told you, supervising. I'm checking you're locking it up right. Well, I'm sure I'm locking it up all right, George. Don't worry. You best be. Some fine equipment in them doors. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, anyway, I'm going to go park this Volvo up near my house. On the way back, I'll check the cows and then we're ready to go. All right, and see you in Hurry up. Yeah, all right, and I'll have to go through the field, won't we? George rushing me. I'm trying to be as quick as I can here. Stuff just lying about all over the shop it makes it pretty difficult. And what I'm thinking is I might just park this up here and I think it should be all right. In George's eyes, no one's going to nick a Volvo. Whereas, to be honest... I actually really like this tractor. It's just a shame I can't afford it. Now right, let's just check I've locked that door. Yep, all good. I think that's it. The cows look all right. Definitely give them some feed. They've probably ate quite a bit of it by now. What are we? Half nine. Yeah, they've gone through some of it, but they're happy. They're happy. How? Huh? I left the door open here. We'll shut that too. Shut this one as well. That's George. That is. That's not me. And then we'll just do this. I didn't actually take the spreader back. Still need to do the fertiliser. Didn't get around to it in the end. And there we go. That's everything. Yep. One last check. Yep. All good. Right, George, it's all done. Everything's locked up. Right, how do you want to go about this? Am I driving or you? Oh, well, normally I tell you that's a stupid question, but you haven't drove this yet, have you? Mm. Are you going to treat it with care? Yes, George, I'll treat it with care. Don't worry. You best do, because I'll be sitting there right next to you and I'll know. TD5, this is. TD5. And it's my TD5, so I won't see you looking after her. Treat her right. Don't ride that clutch. No, I won't ride the clutch. Right, go on then. I'll tell you where to go. Right then. I'm going to hop in then. Have I got permission to open the door? <laughs> Don't be a smarty. Go on, get in. There we go, George. We didn't shut the back, did we? Uh, you didn't shut the back. Yeah, well, whatever. Right, there we go. All done. Right, you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Ready when you are, bud. Right, come on then, let's go. I'm actually looking forward to this, George. Probably one of the best ideas you've ever had. Well, I do come up with some good ones every now and again, but, you know, it's one of them. We'll just see how it goes. I'm hoping uh, he's got what we want, mate. Ah, let's hope so. Now, let me just shut this gate. Oh, 
Right, that's that done. All locked up, secure, ready to go. Right, we're going right then, George. Ah, oh, turn right, mate, turn right. We're going down through the village or up? Uh, trying to figure the best way to go now. Um, I'll tell you what, go straight on. Ah, straight on. You sure? Ah, well, should be right. No, 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 actually, actually, turn right. Turn right. Ah, turn right, that'll be better. All right. Um. Right, so what's the plan then, George? Right, well, we're going to go see one of our mates. And uh, he's got a few tractors, so we thought we could have a look. And if there's anything you like, you can keep an eye out for him. It'll definitely be cheaper than that blooming Volvo. 18,000 for a Volvo. No, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, it's nice, though. Well, it's dinner nice. Ugly. Ugly thing. I actually think it's pretty nice, George. You would, wouldn't you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you obviously got something wrong with your eyes. Well, obvious to you, I guess, but... Oh, well. Hey, you shut your gate! That's not me, that isn't, George. Someone else has gone through there. I'm not going to shut it now, am I? Oh, yeah, fair play. No one's going to steal some seas in the ground. No, that's true. Right, so... How long is it, George? Is it a long drive? Nah, it isn't too bad. you be alright. Go on, get going. Yeah, right then. So, how do you know this guy then, George? Oh, he's just a mate of mine from back in the day. I haven't seen him in a while, actually, but yeah, he lives quite a distance. But I do know he's got a few tractors, and I've actually been there not long ago. Have a look. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see what you think, I guess. He's definitely got the right ones for you, though. But, you know, time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. Do you know I don't think I've ever gone this way before. Oh, uh, well, sit back, relax. I can't do that, I'm driving. I mean, me, I'm talking to myself. Yeah. yeah you sit back and relax, George, and I'll drive. Let me know for you what you're doing, man. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> oh, I forgot fed up of your snoring like George. I've never heard anything like it. <laughs> I didn't... You scared the living life out of me, man. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, we nearly there yet? I don't know. Are we nearly there yet, George? Oh, where are we? Uh, yeah, I think we're nearly there. That's all right then. Sounds about where you said. Yeah, this is it. Oh, oh this is it. This is the place. Oh, we're near anyway. Ooh, let me get me breath. Blooming hell, fire. That's a nice drive down there, George. I'll tell you that. Are we going up there? No, we're going, going up there. Turn right here, that's it. Up right. Yeah. Look at him pulling out. What's wrong with him? Drivers nowadays. I bet he's Volvo driver. <laughs> right, so where are we going, George? Uh, just follow it down. You wanna miss it. Alright. Um. You decided about the Leyland yet? You haven't even said it about Leyland. Um no, I haven't decided. We did offer you a good deal, Mick did, but I think you should keep it strong. Do you? Oh, I really do. Nice oh, track that Leyland, isn't yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Tend to go and run again, anytime soon anyway. But you never know. You've got the skills now, you might be able to fix that yourself one day. Get yourself a tractor now that'll run, and then are in the future, you never know. You never know. No, uh, you never know. I'm just looking at these farms as we go, George, thinking. You never know. Uh, what do you mean you never know? You ain't moving out yet, are you? No, no, I'm not moving out. But one day, I'm not gonna lie to you, George, it'd be nice to have my own farm. Oh, I'm sure you'll get one one day, Scroft. You got the right work ethic, that's the main thing nowadays. You've got to work hard for it. I know, I know. Right, we're not too far away now. You just got to keep going round. There's a few bends. Should be a left hand turn at some point, but I'll give you a nod when we get close. Right then. Nah, but Leyland, George, I don't know. I am tempted, you know, just to say. I'll keep it. I mean, I haven't really got much money, to be honest. Not figure it out. I mean, that would bring me up to around 9,000. I sold the Leyland for parts. 
Oh, so you got about seven and a half then. Yeah, but you got to remember, I put 10 down on that field. 20, 20 grand debt. It's a bit tricky. Oh, but you're saving a bit, aren't you? Um, about 1,200, 1,500 a month. Depends how the month goes. Well, that's not bad at all, that each craft, eh? No, it's all right, George. I agree. Right, look out for a left turn in a minute. This one? Ah, oh, this is the one. Turn here. Will do, will do. Yeah, he's just up here, laddies. What's his name, anyway? You haven't told me. His name's Alex. Alex? Ah. Uh -huh. But, I call him Brixie. Brixie? Is that his second name? I don't know, I think so. Sounds about right, doesn't it, Alex Bricks? Hey, I never thought about that. You might be right. Alex Bricks. Bricksy, yeah. No, this is Bricksy anyway. He sells stuff. He sells stuff? You want me to pull in here? Ah, pull in here, we are right. All right, then. I'll park up here, eh? Ah, that's it. What do you want to do now, then? What do you think we do now? We go knock on the door. Are you stupid? All right, then. I'll let you do the honours. Ah, I'll do Donners. I haven't spoke to Brixie in a while. Hey up there, George. How's it going? You alright, mate? I haven't seen you in a while, like. I know, ah, well. I'll give you a bell before, and you knew I was coming, didn't you? Ah, yeah, I know you were coming, like, but... It's good to see you anyway, George. It's been such a long time. I know, ah, Brixie. It's been a while, mate. It's been a while. Anyway, this is Scroft. He's me farm, and it's him, really, that's interested. I told you what we were looking for, small tractors. Same place as before. Yeah, you can't go wrong, just go out the back, you'll see it straight there. When you're done, come give me a shout, and I'll have a talk with you. If you find one you're interested in, let me know. Remember, free delivery, like always, George. Ah, spot on, Brixie, spot on. Right, well, uh, I'll go have a look with him then. No worries, see you in a bit, Brix. See you later there, George. See you later, Alex. Ah, don't worry, see you later. Right then, George. I guess it's over there then, yeah? I think so. Looks about right, isn't it? Tractors. What do they look like? I know what tractors look like. Tell me now, look how long grass is round here. Oh, fine, look at that. It is pretty long, isn't it? Hey, look at that. T is that T6? I don't get any ideas now. I'm not, not going for anything like that, are we? I know, I know. I'm just obviously looking at his gear. Pretty decent. That looks like ours, but a bit bigger. Oh, it's your wheelbase, isn't it? Not bad, not bad. Anyway, you're getting sidetracked over here. No way, look at this cruiser. Toyota, that's a nice thing, isn't it? Hey, stop faffing about and come and have a look at these blooming tractors. Hey, and George, two seconds. Oh, what is that? Oh, for God's sake, it's just one thing after another, then. Like a kid in a sweet shop. I heard that, George. Well, you're supposed to. I didn't hide it, did I? Right then. Are they selling? Is he selling this as well? How am I supposed to know? I come here for tractors. I don't come here for bangers. <laughs> I like that, George. I was after a four before. Well, we're here for a tractor, and that's what you need now. So just stop faffing and get your head switched up. All right then. Right, right. What are we looking at here then, George? Tractors. I know that. I mean, what in particular? Anything? Is it all of them? Is is everything really around what you were? think I could afford or I didn't even know myself right well I told him you had 10 grand now there's a lot of you that are above 10 grand but there's some that are just under so you should be right but I think everything he's got in this section which is where we're looking should be right for our farm and for you to start off with there's a few that are a bit more don't get me wrong but if you think anything that stands out you like you know you should be good now I do know it keeps all the keys in cab, so you should be fine. Don't ask me how he gets away with it, but maybe he's got a shotgun or something. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, well, I'll have a look around then. Now, 3670 Massey. Ah, it's too big for you, that is. Yeah, I know that. Right, let's have a look down here then. Fiat Agri. I guess something will just jump out. Hey, that's a bit like yours, George. Ah, it is. But steep news, isn't it? Mine's a bit bigger than that. Mine a Massey, eh? I'll tell you that. 390T. Oh, she's a beast. You can't go wrong, Scroft, with them old stars. And a Massey Ferguson all day long never let you down. 
Never let you down that one, bud. I do like that myself. I do too, George. I'll be honest. Tell you what, let's make a note of that. Massey Ferguson, 390T. I'll ask him about that, eh? Ah, oh, good shout, good shout. Hey, look at these Case Internationals, George. What do you think of these? Oh, they're right, they are. In all fairness, not too bad. I mean, they look good, don't they? Some decent nick there. Well, less scratches, though, so you've got to watch the price on them. They'll probably jump up. I mean, if I was him, I'd sell them for more. Looks like he's restored them a bit. Yeah. Was the 5130 and the 5150? I imagine this one's cheaper. Ah, I don't mind that as well, to be honest, George. It's a nice tractor, that is. All right, I'm all making out to that one, then. Will do. International 5130. Oh, I've already got two on the list. That's not bad, is it? 3115. I think that might be a bit steep. Scroft, it looks a bit decent, that does for you. <laughs> what did you mean by that? Well, you know what I mean. I don't mean like anything bad. It just probably like your price range. Pull me now, George. I like the look of this one. What, a Zeta? I'll be honest, it don't look bad. It just looks like a cheap Massey. A <laughs> cheap Massey? I don't know, I just like it. I actually really like this tractor. You said it, it'd stand out when I see it, but yeah. Something about this tractor, George. What do you think it is under the bonnet? Well, if I was guessing, I don't know, maybe 17, 90 horsepower, you'd have to check, wouldn't you? Can I get in? Ah, get in. Pull me now, fire. Hey, he's got a little seat here for you, George. Uh, funny. You're funnier you are, aren't you? Funny lad, funny. <laughs> I actually like this, I'm going to start it up. Sounds alright. Pretty nice. Not, not too bad at all. Hmm. Hey, it's not bad that ain't George. I do like that one. Alright, and we'll add the 7745 to your list. Will do, will do. Hey, this is a good place, this is. I have to say, you've got you got it down to a T. George, this is uh spot on. Hey, this TW Ford. Oh, she's a beast. She's got something under that bonnet, I'm telling you now. Not bad nick as well. I might ask about that one as well, George, just just to see how much he wants for that, because Ford's usually getting for a fair price, can't you? Ah, oh, that's a good shout. Yeah, write it down. TW10. Nice. Hey, Renault. Never knew they did a Renault tractor. Renault tractor? You blooming mental. Volvo and now Renault. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm just saying they do one. It's not bad, that isn't, George. Oh, not bad. Well, if you bring that on the farm, I tell you, I might look for a new farm and. Hey, I don't think no one else is going to put up with you, George. <laughs> touche, touche. See? I'm sure that's French. Uh, anyway. It's in a bad in here, George. Not too bad at all. It does actually sound pretty decent. Ah, I think I need to... I think I need to try these out properly, George. I asked the questions about how much horsepower they got and get the price, because, you know, if I can afford them... You know, I'd say I can go up to about nine. By the time I'm going to buy this, I, I, I'll have about nine grand, surely. Surely, and that's without selling the Leyland. Hey, look at you now, Scroft. You've got a bit of hope in your voice. I told you, didn't I? It's never as bad as you think. No, you're right, George. Now I'm seeing all these tractors, I'm getting my hopes up. I just hope I can find foot one for around 9,000. See, 9,000 is my sweet spot. That's what I can do. I'm going to write that Renault down. You're going to hate me for it, George, but I'm going to do it because I actually like that. All right, then. What's well, your tractor in it? Don't ask me to do anything with it. And also, you know, you've got my tractor to drive instead of doing that on the farm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can jump in your tractor. <laughs> but with my fields, I don't mind using that. I'll tell you now, that's it a decent tractor and if you look at it compared to the Leyland pretty much all these tractors are better than that ah oh, well Leyland's got style though hasn't it it's got that style that British style yeah I know I know you like it I get it right I've got that down on my list so let's carry on what's this fast track blow me now George that'd be good on the farm wouldn't it 
I do like a fast track Scroft, I'm not going to lie. You can't go wrong with the JCB. Problem is, they're usually too expensive, aren't they? But that one, in all fairness, might be in our price range. I'd say it's probably on the steep end, though. But you can ask the question. Yeah, I'll put that down as well, George. I actually like that one as well. I think you're right. I do feel like a kid in a sweet shop. <laughs> you look like one, you should see your face. Right, well, I've got fast track down. Hey, look at this case. 5150. I do like that, George. Blimey, I mean, now there's more, even more of them. I don't know. I mean, I like that a lot, but do you think he's out with price range? Um, I don't know, to be honest, Scroft. It's got a few scratches, but it's not too bad. I think you should be alright with that. Hmm. Write it down and we'll ask the question. And if it's too much, we can, we can cross it off, can't we? Yeah, good idea, George, good idea. Right, what else we got going on here? Blooming hell, fire. He's got some nice tractors. Hey, that's that Zeta again, George. It looks like it's a little bit different. The lights are different and it's got a red top. I'm sure that one was grey. Do you care about the colour of the top, mate? It's all the same. It's not, actually. Look, they're circular and grey and the other one's red. The square lights. Well, does that matter at all, really? I wouldn't say it matters, but maybe. Depends what you like, innit? I just like that tractor. I will be honest. I do like that tractor a lot. I, I think that might be my favourite, George. I never would have thought you'd pick that one. I'll be honest. No, me neither. But look at it. There's something about that tractor that I like. Well, he's got two of them, so you can ask the question, can't you? Ah, well. What's that we got? Class. Holland 7740. Got some nice new Hollands down the back of here, George. Ah, oh, that's a beast, isn't it? That 8340. Oh, me now, that's got something. I'm telling you now, that's a. That might be out your price range, because look at the condition of it. Look at the size of it. Yeah, I know. Do you know what, George? I've got here seven on my list. Seven. I think we've picked a good amount here. Why don't we go back to him? And have a chat with him. Get some prices. And then we're not going to make a decision right now, are we? No, no, no. You don't want to do that right now. You want to look like you're not too keen or else he'll charge you too much. He is my mate after all, but he's still trying to make some money. I saw a pub on the way in. What we should do, get these prices, get the horsepower, we'll have a pint and some grub. We'll make a call then, eh? All right. I like the idea of that, George. Let's go speak to him then. And get the idea. Right, George. We've got everything we need. That was interesting, what he said. Some of them are promising, though, I have to say. Uh, they're all right. Some of them are good. The other ones, not so good. Mm, let's head to this pub anyway. We'll have a good chat about it. I think the main reason I came out was for the grub anyway. <laughs> all right, then. Right, well, it's, if you're saying it's back where we were, it's got to be up this way. Ah, it's up here. You follow it round, you wouldn't miss it. Look like a nice pub. It's a nice area around here, George. I have to say, there's some decent farms. Ah, it's stunning round here. Stunning. It's in a Carmsden, though, but it's still stunning. Yeah, Carmsden is nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Hmm. Where do we go now then, George? Uh, turn right at the top of here. You want to miss it then? It's just on the left. Right then. Turn him right, just on the left. You have to wait for him, Scroft. Yeah, I know. I am. Ah, it's here. Ah, that's it. That's the place. Got two seconds. I guess I'm parking there. I'll go round the back, mate. If I'm plenty of parking there. Radio, radio. Right, and George, let's get in, eh? Have a pint. You buying? Am I buying? <sighs> Blow me now, fire. Well, not even surprised you've asked that question. Hey, well, I drove us up here. <sighs> in my motor. 
Well, I'll tell you what, you buy the first, I'll buy the second. Right then. But you're buying the food. Uh, that's not what we decided, no, that's not it. Oh, I'll tell you what, Scroft, that's a nice pint, that is. Nice pint. Ah, I can only have half, George, I'm driving. I don't know, but I don't need to worry about that, do I? Oh, love this pub. Love it. <laughs> Good tell. Anyway, George, let's talk about these tractors. Ah, go on then, fire them at me. Right, well, 390T, 12,000 he wanted for that. 95 horsepower. Ah, uh, nice tractor though, a bit steep. But nice tractor. Yeah, I think we'll cross that one off then, eh, George? Ah, I'd say so, it's a bit too much for you, innit? Yeah, it is. Right, the, uh, the 5130, which was nice. Nice tractor. 105 horsepower. Ten and a half grand. No, that's not bad, not bad. I'll keep that in, in your mind. Yeah, I, I will do. I'll tell you what, I'll circle that one, George, because that's actually not a bad shout, is it? No, I like that one. I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit. It's a pretty decent one as well. Hmm, I agree. Right, so the 7745, the Zeta, the one I really like. Which one? The red one or the grey one? <laughs> Anyone. It doesn't matter, like you said. Uh, well, I told you that, and you were, and you were well, I mean, agreeing with me at the time. As soon as you get that half pint in, you look at it, you know, I've seen sense. Yeah, right, then. Right, well, the 7745, 81 horsepower, so it's, one, it's you know, it hasn't got as much. But still around where I, I'd be happy with that, and nine and a half K, which is proper on my budget. Oh, well, there you go, then. It seems like you made your mind up already. No, I haven't made my mind up already. I like the options we got here, George, I do. All right, and we'll keep firing away, then. TW10, the Ford. Oh, what? Uh, she looked a bit hefty, didn't she? Yeah, I agree. 127 HP. Not bad, not bad. 10K. Well, it's not bad for 10K, then, it's Scroft. No, you're right. I'll keep it circled, but I just don't know if it'll suit me on the farm, I'll have to be honest. Uh, I'd think that myself, but, you know, it's your choice, after all. Fast track. Oh, she's a beaut, wasn't she? Yeah. 159 horsepower. Wow, well, that's that's what you're after. That's close to mine. Massey. I know, but it's 15k, George. Yeah, it's too much for you, that is. Too much for you. I know, I'll cross that one off. I think it's probably best. So the Renault, George, that was 106 horsepower, and it's 9.5k as well. Well, in all fairness, then, for the horsepower, that ain't a bad deal, but the problem is, it's a Renault. <laughs> I know that. It's not a bad tractor though, George. Well, I'll have to keep an eye out. Well, it's up to you at the end of the day. It's your call. I'll back you whatever you do. I know you will, George. I know. Well, so far, the Renault and the 5130 and the 7745, the Zeta, they're all pretty decent price. Except one's 105 HP, one's 106, the other one has 81. So I'm jumping down by 20 there for the one I like the most. Hmm, but it is in better nick. It's one of them. It's one of them. You know the 5150 case? The black one. Oh, wow, that was nice. That was right nice. I bet you it's too much, though. Yeah, it's 14k. But you were you were right about that one, George. Too much. Do you know what, though? In all fairness, I, I've whittled that down to four. And I could straight, straight away scratch off the TW10, really. Because I know I'm getting 127 HP for the 10k. But it just doesn't stand out for me. So, I'm going to cross that one off as well, George. Ah, oh, no worries. Anyway, hurry up. Food's coming now. Food's coming. Put it down. All right, then. All right, then. Oh, I tell you what, George. That, George, that was stunning. They do a nice meal in there. Oh, stuffed, scroft. Stuffed. Oh, it's been a good day out, though, hasn't it? It has. It has. It really has. So, I, don't, I think after you've just drank four pints and I've drank half, I think you might have less thought than me on this, but I've been thinking about this. I actually like the tractors we've whittled it down to. We've got three here. We've got the 5130, the International, and we've got the, the Zeta 7745, and we've got the Renault. Definitely, George, one of them is going to be my next tractor. Well, it sounds about right. That does scroff that sound, that is. Ah. Right, well, shall we head back then? And uh, I'll sleep on it, and I'll make a call tomorrow. All right, and sounds good with me. As long as you're happy, we can head home. Yeah, I'm good. You can ring Alex tomorrow, can't you? Alex? Oh, uh, you mean Brixie? Uh, I'll ring him tomorrow. As soon as you've made your mind up, let me know and I'll tell him. 
All right, and Joe's, let's head off then, eh? Well, let's head off. <laughs>